Keep that in mind. I want to introduce, introduce an equation to you, which is out equals in, water out equals water in. And uh, this is about five years ago that we created this particular graphic as part of education and outreach and informing practitioners because people tend to make things very complicated. And you know, it's so, it's so deceptively simple when you say, well, water up, equals water in, great. Um, but if you think of it from, from an engineering background or your mathematical background, how do you solve an equation which is variable on both sides? Think about it, right? And, that, and that's, that's the significance, because if you start drilling into it a little bit more, I think that you probably can get this one, right? In terms of you know, the factors that are affecting you on the inside, in terms of hydrology and weather and timing, all the, all the points you, you address in your issue, and on the outside, what's happening? Well, looking at it from a British Columbia perspective, and again, drawing on, on the almost 40 years of experience, what's really changed for us is the safety factor has been shrinking over time. Because we've always been vulnerable in British Columbia. And it's the nature of our supplies here. If you think about most communities in British Columbia, and the way, you know, we all live in the valley bottoms, and there's always these small mountain streams, which are our source of supply, and they all tend to be seasonal, right? So uh, we've always had issues. What's really aggravated things in the last 10 or so years is the fact that it's one thing if you have a small population relative to a big supply, you can have upsets in the system or variability, you don't notice it. But now your population grows, and, this, and it's relatively speaking, it's a big population relative to a smaller supply, doesn't take much of a perturbation. Perturbation? How do you say it anyway? Anyway, right? anyway, variation in the system. And so that's what's really got us thinking about the significance of soil depth, right? How we can manage things differently in terms of how much water we use and then how much water is coming off the land and when it comes off. So all these things start to come into play here. And really, a phrase we have been using in recent years is it's all about water for life and livelihoods. So again, it's a very simple equation. It's the water balance with a, lot, with a lot built into it, but that's the fundamental building block that starts getting you understanding the more complex issues. 